Hey babes, hey, hey to all my lucky girls out here in these YouTube streets. How y'all doing today? It's your girl LaVette and I am back with another video. I know it's a little different. I'm in a different scene. That's because I'm out running errands, but no worries. I'm about to let y'all know what y'all gonna be seeing if y'all stay tuned to this video, okay? So make sure you go ahead and hit a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Get through this intro and meet me back here, okay? Okay. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree, go, girl. Focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had it. Fuck that nigga. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's time to mix it up and get your glow, girl. I know that you gon' get it. You got so much. Don't let nobody tell you that it's over. I want you to know that, girl. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you my little baby. I'm gon' make it known. Let that nigga hate. Okay, babe, so as I stated, I'm actually out running errands, but no worries. I am about to go to Starbucks, get me a drink, and then head right on home and get to these orders. So that's what y'all gonna be seeing me do today. Um, last time, the last video, I showed y'all me processing some orders, and it was kind of a little difficult because I was working with a new system. But of course, it's been days later, um, and I have been able to work this system down. Okay, sweetie. So just to give y'all a little um, information right now, I have a Wix website and I have a ship station hooked up to my um, stamps.com account um, and everything is all integrated together. So it makes my um, processing of my orders so easy. It was not easy getting everything hooked up in the beginning. I had to figure out things and call and make sure everything was going right. Cause baby day one was haywire. My Rolo printer wasn't working. It was just crazy. And it kind of slowed down my process. However, I am almost done with all my orders. And the first batch of orders pretty much already went out. So y'all, if y'all ordered already, y'all should have already received y'all tracking numbers. I shipped orders yesterday. And then again, I'm going to ship orders today before three o'clock. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and just stay consistent with my babes who come to look for behind the scenes information. I just want to share with y'all because some of y'all be like, well, what uh, systems are you using stuff is i use what i mean i don't know what everybody's using i could just tell you what i'm using i use wix.com i do have a shopify account for my other company but i wanted to do wix because i have used wix in the past and i actually like wix and they have upgraded a lot um very easy to maneuver with their system it's not difficult at all um, they done really upgraded a lot since when I first, first was introduced to Wix. Um, they're like on Shopify, you know what? Okay, sweetie. Um, what else? Like I said, I have a roll up printer, so that's hooked up. I use ShipStation for my shipping, and that's connected to my stamps.com. I also have a USPS account, um, United um, Postal Service. I have that as well um that i just hooked up so now if i don't want to go to the post office i can just call and schedule a pickup and i also get all my packaging for free so i'm just sharing some tea with y'all because i know i have a lot of business owners that follow me and maybe um y'all have been looking to you know add some systems to your company or you already using the system so i just thought i'd just go ahead and share since like i said this is behind the scenes where i don't share a lot of this information on the instagram side because you don't want your videos to be too long and when we go on live it's more intimate over there because you get to ask me questions and see what i'm doing right there in this moment so it's a little bit better over here sometimes depending on what i'm doing or what i'm sharing if it's live I, if it's something in the now i need to be on instagram if it's something i can record and show for y'all where y'all can go back and read listen to these videos then i'll be on the youtube side but anyways that's it we three minutes in i ain't about to hold y'all no longer just know the next scene you will see me at home and i will actually show y'all and walk y'all through one whole entire order okay okay Hey babes, your girl is back. Okay, we about to get right into it. So last time I showed y'all kind of sort and order, um, but this time <laughs> I actually have an order already prepared, okay? So if you're watching, this is order number 10052, okay? 10052. So this was a large order. She actually ordered 17 items, which is it's seven several different quantities in the 17 items. 
So y'all already know. Well, this is the sheet. I can't really show y'all because people information and emails is on it. But this is the sheet that I print offline um, just so that I can know what I'm sorting. So this is the first step for me is I go online and I print this sheet out. It's not mandatory. It's just something that I do just so I can have a sheet in my hand. So as I'm picking and sorting, I actually check everything off so I know what the quantity is and everything like that. So her first order um, is a designer mixed metals which is this this is just a bag of designer mix and it comes with rose gold gold silver and black designer diamond so i got to check by that and she ordered a quantity of two so there is 20 in here um she got the lux and bling mix she ordered a quantity of two so this is what this looked like it's just our some luxury charms mixed in with our bling luxury and there's 20 charms in here because she ordered two so that's her second thing she ordered um, two orders of kitty charms, so there's 20 in here as well. It's a kitty charm mixed. Then she ordered um, adult basic bangles. She ordered um, five in black, so we have five adult black in here. And then she ordered five of the um, basic regular kid bangles, in five in silver and five in gold. Um, actually she ordered two in the silver. So let me just double count that because I think I skipped that part. And this happens. This is why I need this sheet. And this is why I always go over everything before I, um, actually send them out. That's one. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Really? Okay. So let me just pull this out. Okay, so I know for sure this is five black. So she ordered um, 10 of the actual silver basic kid bangles. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I did get it. And she ordered five of the gold. So yeah, I did have it right, but it just looked it, it didn't look right in the package. But it's okay. This is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to double check before we ship our orders because. Sometimes it depends on how late it is. I'll be up, I tell y'all, sometimes pretty late doing orders. And um, I can make a mistake. And it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Just try to double check to the best of your ability. And if you miss something by accident, don't beat yourself up. If you got a really good customer that's understanding, when they receive that order, they'll contact you and they'll let you know, you know that you made a mistake. And you just you know, handle it to the best of your ability. If it's something you missed on your end that they had nothing to do with, you have to take ownership, apologize for that, and make sure whatever you're missing gets sent out. And the shipping is not on them. It's on you that time. So, you know, just be mindful of that. So I like to prevent anything because I know people need to get their orders out. So I like to double check. But yes, I got all her bangles in here that she ordered. And then um, she ordered... The luxury, the large luxury designer um, mix. That's this. She ordered two of these, and they are five quantities. So she got ten of these, and then she ordered the mini ears. Uh, she ordered five mini ears and five of the mixed color, the large trays. So I just put both of them in this bag because they're all colorful and cute. Um, she ordered 10 of the large gummy bears, so she got that. And, and the last thing she got was her split rings, and she got a mix of 100. So she received all four colors. She got 25 black, 25 rose gold, 25 gold, and 25 silver. So, and y'all know we can't forget the business card. So, that's pretty much it that wraps up her order. The last page is just her total and her shipping information. So her order is complete. So the next thing I do after I do that, which I already did, um, it's for two. I printed out her packing slip. So it just shows her everything that she ordered. And because she ordered large when she it's a whole sheet of paper, it usually doesn't be it usually don't be a whole sheet of paper. So I take the pack and slip in the thank you card and I put it right here. I get out one of my little bags. Cause I do like to bubble wrap the um the charms. 
not, I mean, there are times they're probably, they probably won't get damaged, but this is just something I do for extra protection for my baby, okay? So if you my babies, you already know how your girl is coming. So basically what I do is, y'all already see me double check everything. And they be having like little plastics. I don't know if y'all can see that in the light, but sometimes they have a little plastic flying on them. It's okay, just pull it off, honey. It's not gonna hurt nothing or nobody, even if you was to leave it on. It's a piece of plastic that come, but if it's something that I see that I notice, I like to just take care of it. So when they receive their package, it's free from anything, at least to the best of my ability. And what does she pay for shipping? Let me see. Pretty sure this is priority, yeah. So this is priority shipping, not first class. So I'm trying to flatten it out so it can fit in the envelope pretty snug. So I just do this and bam, we got one package done with the package slip and we have a thank you card. So that's the first step and I'll show y'all what I actually do next okay okay so because this is priority shipping i'm not going to use this even though you can i'm not going to use this i'm actually going to use a flat rate envelope because it's one fee so i'm going to take this package that's already prepared and i'm going to stick it in here And then I'm gonna close it up. And honey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get it in here, <laughs> okay? Cause it don't, how they got these envelopes made is just irritating. It's like they got it made if you think about it for paper, but it says you can get up to, I forgot how many pounds. 70 pounds. You gotta stuff really good to get 70 pounds worth of stuff in these little envelopes. You see how it be all crunched up and stuff? But it's closed, sweetie. It's closed, so it's closed. Sometimes I like to take a little tape, and I'm sorry, y'all, if this video is long. I just really want y'all to get as much information as y'all can, because like I said, this is behind the scenes, and this is stuff I probably wouldn't do on my IG, or maybe I would, maybe I would. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do this on IG, cause on live sometimes you you can just sit there and at least pack an order um, with someone. So actually I might go live after I record this little part of the video because I need to go live. It's a lot of updates that I need to, to do. And since I have y'all on here, I'm going to give y'all some updates when we finish off this video. So, bam. Stuff in the envelope. I can now mark this as done. So, usually what I do is I check it and I put it over here because I got a list of already made orders over here by my scale. And then, I really um, can't, sh I don't like to show too much if y'all be ever wondering like why I don't have it on the screen first of all the ring light gone blind y'all and i really don't be wanting y'all to see um people's information what order number was that okay so 52 this is order number 52 and what i do is i take this and i put it on my scale and i'm sorry i don't have no more room up here as y'all see this thing is full to capacity so i can put my scale up here which is fine because i put it right on the side of me so i take this package and i just drop it on my scale and even though you really honestly you don't have to weigh this one because it's flat rate so anything you put in here is going to be that flat rate but i still like to weigh it just for website purposes so it's one pound 11.7 ounces so i will go ahead on and put that in my um my order form which is um i'm using Sh ship station right now sorry about that and i'm gonna just put 12 i'm gonna round it up to 12 ounces so i got one pound 12 ounces and i'm actually going to ship this priority usps 
because I, I use USPS. I know a lot of people are switching over, but now that the holidays is over, things are starting to get back to normal. So I've been using it the whole time. And right now it's working for me, but um, I also, through ShipStation, I have USPS and UPS. I don't have FedEx, and I will have to see if FedEx is an option for ShipStation if they work with them. If they if they do, I might even have to add FedEx because one of my girls, she personally, when I was doing orders through the DM, she would personally, um, especially during COVID, before COVID, she was just using regular USPS, but now with COVID, I'm not, I'm sorry, not COVID, y'all, I'm so sorry, I'm just studying saying COVID, COVID, COVID. The holidays is not due to any um, pandemic or anything, um, mainly due to the holidays that we just came out of. Everybody know USPS uh, was tripping with the orders. Um, the mail was really slow, so she chose to use um, FedEx. So, anyway, that is a flat rate envelope. So, I just put flat rate. And let me just confirm her address. It is validated. And this is one of my lucky girls. She always ordered for me. I already double checked her order. So, now we're going to go ahead on and create and print her label. Get it off the scale. Let me just print this out. And I do use the Rolo. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I use this, the Rolo, and I actually got it from Amazon. And voila, we have a shipping label. Of course, I can't show her information, so I'm going to actually pick the package up. And boom, this is it. And what I usually do is, I, I y'all are in this position where I have my packaging bin. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it, y'all. That is pretty much it. That is how I do my orders. I um, print out the, the order form. I go through everything. I pick it. I sort it, do everything I had to do during that process. I showed y'all a little bit about that. I showed y'all a little bit of that in the last video, so I didn't want to repeat what I already showed y'all. And then um, after that, pretty much um, after I sort everything, as y'all see, I print out um, what is a packing slip. This is what the actual customers, and I just print like different colors just to be cute. Mm, a little fancy with my girls. You know, treat them special, treat them good. They'll come back. If you treat them good, honey, and I treat my girls good, okay? So, <laughs> anyways, I so I print out the pack and slip after I sort everything. So that way I have a copy, which I saw. The white paper is mine. That's why I print mine on white paper and I print theirs on color paper. So we can't we we can get it mixed up, sweetie. Okay. So I give them the um the the thank you card and the pack and slip. I put everything in there, including a business card, but I usually put a business card in something of a charm or whatever you get, you're gonna always get a business card. And then after that, I get everything put in the um mailing envelope. The next step after that is y'all see well, y'all couldn't really see because like I said, the scale is down here on the floor. Um I might move my charms eventually, but this was supposed to be a sorting table, y'all. I have my whole vanity area is now full of charms. I don't know if y'all can see back there. My actual computer desk is not big enough to do all this, so I really should be at my computer desk doing my orders and using this table as my sorting table because that's what it's actually for. Your girl just be comfortable sitting over here. I'm be wanting to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, so I have to figure out a way. You have to adjust, okay? So anyway, after I get it off the scale, as y'all seen, I was able to go into my ship station account and I was able to enter whatever the, the way was and then go straight into print. I got my label printed and I put it on here and it's done. So now I just got to get the rest of these little few orders done, which is not much at all because like I said, these are already ready. And then I have after that, I have these two orders that I'm going to complete, uh, which I already printed out the packing slips for these. So I'm going to get those ready. And then after that, I'm going to go to the post office. So that's the next thing y'all will see me do. Y'all will see me go to the post office. Okay. Okay. Okay, babe. So me per usual, rushing. 
at the last minute. I stayed on live a little bit longer than what I was supposed to be because my girls be keeping me going, okay? It's a little different when you live because you interact and so you never know what people are gonna say, you never know what people's questions is gonna be or what you may have to answer. So, oh, thank God for the lights, sweetie, periods. Okay, it's a natural filter. Um. But yeah, babe, so I was on live and then I was trying to process um, my last two orders for the batch um, that I'm actually shipping out now. And I got to fulfilling those orders when I realized um, there was things missing. So the package that I'm waiting on, it's not even four o'clock yet, it's almost four. And the scanner placed by me um, closes at four. And I told y'all on live that it's within seven minutes of my house. So I had to get up out the door. So I got two things I could do. I could take those packages to the regular post office and make a separate trip today. Or I can just be patient because I'm still within my processing time. My processing times for those orders that was just placed, I think they were just placed either yesterday or the day before. I'm still within my two to five day processing time. So technically I don't even have to get the orders out until next week because it's two to five business days. Um, I can either do that to just um, go to another post office um, if my package come at 5 because the, the other post office that I use it don't close until 6 p.m. I can do that or I can just be patient and have my, my clientele my babes um, be patient as well because they know they're going to get their packages. They know I'm pretty prompt but I'm really waiting on this big package because once that big package come um, I can get out all the rest of my orders. I'm literally just waiting on one, one of my vendors. I done ordered um a huge like a huge okay slow down peace peace um <laughs> i don't even know what the hell i said i'm probably gonna edit that out but anyway um i ordered a lot of inventory a lot of restock and i ordered a lot of um new stuff because i'm always trying to keep my girls on the new new okay so yeah i don't know I, if the package don't come i'm probably just gonna go ahead and wait to the next business day which would be monday allow the package to come and then try to get all of them out and then i won't have nothing like nothing stalled or holding or anything i can get everything out i just like i said if you were on my live earlier i didn't know everything was going to sell out it's i had a lot of stuff in stock y'all the thing is everybody was ordering a lot of the same things so the things that i overly stocked um which was the um non-designer charms which is always popular um the regular color designer which is like the stuff that was always selling selling out <laughs> actually didn't sell as much once people was able to see everything that I had at one time without having to be in me and ask me for pictures so that's the, the um the bonus of having a website I just wanted to share that and I know this video getting long and I'm sorry I'm actually about to stop because we're pulling up right now I just wanted y'all to um once again know what goes on behind the scenes that's the whole purpose of my whole entire youtube is to keep y'all updated on stuff that um i don't always share on instagram and to let y'all know what i go through as a business owner behind the scenes because i can only give y'all uh insight on what i personally go through so like now it's five minutes before the post office closed but because i was on live and still trying to fill orders for my babes um i'm running like right there but no worries i'm gonna get this footage of me i don't know how they're gonna feel about um us coming in here recording depends on who um answered that little door thing who knows but i'm gonna get what i can okay 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 babe so i got my manifest sheet from my shipping company and i got the packages and we about to go in at the last minute and see if they're gonna scan these packages which they should because i got probably about one or two more minutes but anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what we about to do. Okay, come on. Let's go, let's see. It's not even four o'clock yet. Yeah, this is what they be doing here. It's not even four o'clock yet. It's five, what we'll cause it four? It's not even four. Yeah, it is. What time is it? It's four, it's a little after four. What do you got? My manifest sheet. Okay. With all my packages. What is it, 501? I mean, 401? I don't know. It's a couple, not long. I just looked at the clock before I got the car. Can I see that pen? 
on that sheet, please. Just so I can make sure. No, I just want to see you see it. We got to do we got to do, babe. You keep the sheet. You can add it back. Thank you. Uh -huh. you too. Thank you. Okay, so y'all see, we barely made it, but I promise y'all, we literally had like one or two more minutes. She was really on some BS, but she always got her little snag tooth attitude or whatever the case may be. But as y'all see, your girl don't play. You need to take these packages and you need to scan them and let me see you scan them for my babes, okay? I play no games about y'all. I literally don't be playing, okay? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. As you see, even if you're running late and you at least got that sheet and they don't have to individually scan your items, you can get them to do something for you because she be ready, y'all. You should have seen her yesterday when I came in here. It was literally like 350 something. No, it was like probably like 350. I know I had about a good 10 minutes yesterday. And I was gonna ask her a question on how do the sheet work? Because mind y'all, yesterday was my first day using the sheet. And um she didn't even want to answer my question. She like had the same lady. Like she had a straight up attitude. And I was like, well, can you calm down for one? I know you're ready to go. But at the end of the day, you're not closed yet. So I, I expect good customer service or whatever. So she did. She kind of explained to me like how it go. But I ended up not even using it because as she was talking, she had already started scanning my packages and stuff before I can even, you know, before she even used the sheet. But anyway, that's why I didn't even know. Like, do you keep it? do i keep it but anyway bottom line is bottom line we got those packages here we barely made it but we got them packages here and they got skin so anyways babe that's it that's all that's all i got to say for this video um let me know in the comment section what videos y'all want to see next i done showed y'all a few videos behind the scenes so far and i'm really honestly loving um the feedback whether you're giving me your feedback on um instagram or youtube i appreciate it it helps me know what footage to put out so <sighs> anyways make sure y'all share like comment and subscribe on on the video um and that's it babes that's it that's all i got until the next time until the next video babes peace